For those who can't use them eyeballs and read the thumbnail and or title of the video, well, we are continuing down that untraveled road of unknown facts about Don't Starve Together, everybody. And just like our previous two adventures there, we're gonna be all over the damn place today. As what do dancing mounts, giant butts, and beards have in common with goo glands, blueprints, and more? It's a good question, so have fun answering it. Because for now, all I care about, I think, are some of them dancing mounts I mentioned. Yes, every emote in the game can be used on the backs of Beefalo to have them emote too, but the true fact of the day is that two hidden emotes exist, and they allow us to pet our pets, as you can see. Slash pet and slash big pet are what we're actually looking for here, and yes, most of everything we have just seen and heard about can be done with Wobby as well. So have fun. But another bonus fact before we hit the main topic would be how we can actually stop hostiles from being hostile with food. Take for example a pissed off bunny here. Feed it a carrot between its attacks and its loyalty won't increase, but it will cool off immediately. But the reason for such hostilities was none other than meat of course. Meat outside of Wilson's beard that is. Wilson's beard storage, accessible via his skill tree of course, actually hides all items placed within it from nearby mobs, so be sure to take advantage for sure. Just be sure to also eat them from the beard too, as actually clicking on them and putting them in the mouse is not gonna end well. But you know what else tends to end pretty poorly? Multiple trips through the Anus Express. That said, what if we didn't have to slip and slide our ways more than once? What if we could drop any and all loot we can't carry into a wormhole, only for it all to still come out nice and wet on the other side for us. Well, we can. And we can also carry the super heavy things through them too, as you can see. It's useful, perhaps rather obvious, but I'd be willing to bet that many of you out there have literally just learned this right now. And that's the point. But to already wrap up the point of the day, comes a set of facts all about hauntings. The first being how we can haunt any spider type in this entire game in order to guarantee the dropping of a spider gland. Essentially guaranteeing our own revivals as well at the end of the day. But lastly, we also have a 50% chance to turn a normal, not rare mind, blueprint into an entirely new one across most crafting categories. It's neat and potentially very useful if you get very lucky, or if you just already learned a certain recipe or two from a blueprint. And there you have everyone, a swift five, technically seven more facts you didn't know about Don't Stop Together, at least I hope so. We've got dancing fur balls and furry meats, gooey glands and transports, sneaky knowledge, hidden loyalties, and more. So make your notes. Thanks for watching folks. Well wish it to all, let me know your own unknown facts below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.